when you open the Google search and type in OBS NDI plugin, now you discover from the first link, this is actually a forum link and there's the second one here. And this is a new name here called the Distroth, formerly OBS NDI plugin. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and install this plugin. So just click on right here. Remember, I've dropped the link in the description of this video. So just click on this, go to download here. And it's to redirect us to the website where we need to download this particular plugin. And that is it right here. So the new version is actually 6.0.0 installer. That's this one here. It's called the distro 6. Windows installer file. Just click on it. And this is it here. Download this. And also download the zip file, which is this one here also. Just going to go ahead and download that. That is it here. Click on start download. The zip file have also been downloaded. And let's just go ahead and put this in place. This is the new um, folder for the plugin. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract this. This is the folder right here on the screen. Now the reason why um, the reason why I downloaded both the program files and the zip file itself is because sometimes when you load the plugin itself, it doesn't show up. You understand? Sometimes it doesn't show up. So I'm going to show you that in case you load the plugin or you start the plugin rather and it didn't show up and the NDI source didn't show up on your own software, you can also do it manually. And that's why I downloaded the two of them just to show you the two different ways that you can be able to get the NDI source on your own OBS software. Let's go ahead and install this. Click on open right here, just click on next here and then click on next here, click on next here, click on install here and finish and this has successfully installed the plugin now if you finish doing this and you are unable to find the plugin or the ndi source rather here's the second step now go over to the plugin file over here you're going to see as i extracted it the plugin zip file you're going to see the obs plugin and the data folder now let's go ahead and go back to our dix pc or the local dix open this go over to the local dix now go over to the program files and locate the OBS Studio, which is this one here. Now, you see the OBS plugin here. This is this one here, the OBS plugin, 64 bits. This is what we open and go over to the zip file of the plugin, open the OBS plugin, 64 bits, copy everything here. See, you copy everything here. First off, you copy everything here, go over to the 64 bits of the default OBS uh, Studio program files, and then paste this here, there, replace. I see now it's asking me to replace meaning that the plugin was installed so in case you own you can't find it or you installed the plugin and you didn't see the NDI source you can also do this now go back where you have um go back where you have the data folder remember the one we worked on is the OBS plugins now we're going to go over to the data folder then we'll go over to the zip file that you downloaded go back to the data folder on the zip file which is this one here Open that, open the OBS plugin, and then copy this distro um, AV here. Go over to the OBS um, data default folder. That's the program file OBS Studio, the data folder of it. Open it, and then go over to OBS plugin and paste the distro. You can see there, just replace, continue, and you're done. Once you're done installing the distro plugin, don't also forget to install the NDI uh, runtime as well, which is the NDI this runtime. Remember, I've dropped the link in the description of this particular video. Go ahead and install it once you finish installing the distro plugin.